Hello and welcome to HSD tutorial 10 on back drilled PR simulation using FEM simulator in ADS. I would recommend you to watch tutorial 4 to understand how to import BRD file in tutorial 9 to understand basics of cookie cutting and FEM simulation setup required for simulating VR transitions. This is the cookie cut VR transition from my imported board file. And here is the stack up. It's a 20 layer stack up where our VR transition is from layer 1 to layer 5, which is M5. And then the remaining layer, we do have VR stub, uh, which might cause some distortion to the VR performance. So we have already set up the simulation uh, for FEM and ran the analysis. Here are the results for our VR transition. If you notice uh, the return loss and the transmission, that clearly shows the effect of the VR stub. Uh, having on its uh, you know, performance. And this is not so good VR design for a high speed uh, CERDIS kind of interface. So now we shall explore how can we perform um, back drilling to see whether the performance improves. So first of all, we will save the design as a new name uh, so that we can have a comparison between VR with the stub and with the back drilling done. So there are two things uh, when we look at the VR transition as a two step process. Um, we can activate and deactivate um, the layers as we need. So we'll go ahead and only switch on the through VR, which in our case is CON to CON2. So it's center two VRs are for our service, um, you know, trace and then remaining two VRs are for ground stitching. I have created two new layers um, in my list so that I will perform the metal portion and the dielectric portion of the VR. It's a two-step process. Uh, so before we proceed with those, let's understand how to, can we add a custom layer into the list. So open options, technology, layer definitions. And there we can see all the layers which we have right now in our design, which might be ADS default layer or from the imported board file. Click on add layer button and here we can define the layer name uh, which we want to add. So in this case, just for demo purpose, I will add a layer name with hole one and we can define the process role uh, such as conductor via dielectric via process role is not mandatory, but it helps um, in um, you know reducing a little bit of effort when we try to add it. Now the whole one is available in the list. Uh, we can go ahead and set the color properties uh, shape display property, line style, etc. Also, we can set the transparency level so that we are able to see the things in a, in a much clearer fashion when we use this layer in the layout. The same layer name uh, will also be available in our layer list in the layer window. So if you explore to the top, we can see the whole one layer. And now we can use it uh, like any other layer to, you know, to create any shapes or transfer any objects. So we'll go ahead and select the center two vias, which is for our signal trace. And uh, we have two layers to be used here, whole layer and dial via layer. So we will first transfer the uh, vias onto the whole layer. Now we can copy paste these vias. Remember the through via has to be uh, made into two components. One portion will represent the metal, another portion will be the back drill part. So in the copy portion, we will shift these two VRs to dial VR, which eventually we will use as our uh, back drill portion. And now we can also change the radius of these VRs. So currently it's 5 mil. Uh, we will go ahead and make it 6 mil, which is 20% more than the, the regular VR uh, diameter or radius. So then we can use the move option and use the center snap option. And then we will shift these two um, you know, back drilled uh, via portions uh, to be co-centric with our signal vias. Now with this simple step, we change the through via definition uh, to a metal and, uh, and a dielectric via part. Now let's go to step two of modifying the stack up. Uh, we will first save the default stack up with a new name so that we don't end up disturbing the original stack up which we obtained. Now after saving the stack up with new name, uh, what we need to do is to map two via layers in this. So we will right click on the top slab and select map conductor via and we will stretch it uh, to the desired layer number. So in our case, we are going up to M6 layer, uh, which is one layer down then our uh, trace layer, which is M5. We can click on the newly mapped via and define the material. So in this case, it is copper and make sure this via uh, layer name is whole because this is what we have used to draw 
in the in the layout so for the bottom slab we can right click and map a dielectric via so that from m6 uh, till the edge bottom we will have a dielectric via so here um, we will define the material as air in case air is not available in your list you can click on the icon next to it uh, which will open the material property sheet and here we can add a new dielectric with the air um, you know specification that is the dielectric constant equal to one and loss tangent equal to zero or you can left leave it blank so now we will stretch this dial via uh, mapping right to the bottom of the substrate so as you can see what you see is what you get and it's very very simple to work with the stack up editor in areas now with these three things in place uh, we will have three vias we have the through via the metal via and the dielectric via and the way we have mapped the metal via is one layer uh, down to the actual transition now we can go ahead and uh, set up our em simulation like we explained in the earlier tutorial line video we will set up the simulation type to be fem then we will go to substrate and instead of default substrate we are going to use the back drill substrate definition which we have created and the snapshot clearly shows we are using the back drill substrate the port editor the port everything is placed already in frequency plan we will go ahead with from 100 megahertz to 20 gigahertz and that's our simulation sweep under options we will define lateral extension to be 0.1 vertical to be 2 and open boundary condition the rest of the settings are explained in a little more detail in the earlier tutorial video before we launch simulation we can activate the 3d em preview this shows us the geometry which eventually will be simulated by FEM with the same boundary condition, all the boundaries, etc. So here we can switch off simulation box and the free space and only focus on the VR transition. So we will activate the whole layer, make it less transparent so that we can create more clear, uh, clearly. Then we select the dielectric VR, make it shaded and also reduce the transparency level. So now here in this structure, you can notice we have a three, you know, clear differentiating vias. So two are the ground, which are shown in purple color. The red portion shows the metal via and the golden color shows the dielectric uh, via, which is back drill part. And then we have a transition coming out at M5 layer. So once we are satisfied with this, we can go ahead and click on simulate icon to start a FEM simulation. Again, as explained earlier, simulation time will depend upon how powerful is your machine, how many number of threads you have, etc. In my uh, case, it only takes five and a half minutes to perform the simulation. So these are the results of our back drill VI. By the look of it, if you see, it seems much, much better than what we obtained earlier. However, for fair comparison, we can double click on the graph and go to the VI with the step data set and from there we can pick s13 which is one of our transmission and plot that transmission onto this graph now here you can clearly see the improvement which we have obtained through back drilling as the loss is much lesser similarly we can go ahead and compare s11 performance and here also we can see with back drilling of via we get better than 10 db return loss uh, till 20 gigahertz so this design is much much more suitable and good for high speed serial link and this justifies the back drilling uh, performed on our via hope you enjoyed watching this video subscribe to my youtube channel for more such interesting videos and wish you all the best for your design work